my channel or welcome if you're new I hope you're doing well so I just realized it's been like a little bit of a minute since I uploaded I actually missed the upload for last week um, I did have one kind of that I could have put on but I really wasn't happy with it and yeah I've just kind of been losing track with being able to fit everything in um, at the minute I'm using my old phone to record because for some reason my new phone like um, the audio on it is a little bit iffy like when it comes to actually using the camera with sound for some reason it picks up like a weird sound now I don't know if it's because the mic on it's a lot better than this one that I'm currently using or what because like, if I open up snapchat or anything like that it's absolutely fine sound wise so I'm a little bit confused if any of you like tech geniuses know or have an inkling of what could help me out with that that would be absolutely amazing so anyway for today's video, it's actually going to be a monthly favourites. So the first thing I'm going to start off with is actually a moisturiser, which is this one. Now this is by the brand Razzaline, and this one is just the Intensive Care Advanced Repair Unscented Body Lotion. Now I have really, really sensitive skin, um, and I went out on a walk basically and I ended up going into like the middle of this field for like this massive car boot thing and um, we were up there for like three hours and where it was it was really high up and I didn't even think about sun cream or anything like that which is really bad. My shoulders are like quite badly burnt and down in my chest is as well um, and I didn't have anything at all that I could put on but then I remembered this and this has actually really really been helping. It's just good. I have bought sun cream now. It's a little bit late, but better late than never. So yeah, that has actually helped out so much because it stings like so badly. I've definitely learned my lesson. It's just something that I didn't think of, which was a really bad rookie move for me. So yeah, that is the first thing. Now the second thing is actually really cool. Um, it is this candle here, but it is like a sonic cream candle, and it has like all this art on the tin. But, it also has this on the lid, which is really really cool, and the candle itself is a really nice size, but I don't like the scent. It didn't say what scent it was when we ordered this, but it's like, it's just a really strong, almost like sour sweet smell, but like really overpowering. Yeah, don't know why I went in for a second sniff there, but the packaging itself is really cool. Now I only tend to like the odd one or two candles anyway and 9 times out of 10 they are Yankee candles which is normally like the Christmas scent. Christmas cookie is oh, it's just my favourite, it's so so good. So that is the second. Now the thing that I was most excited about when I got this was this which is actually my new film which is the one that I said the audio was a little bit weird. Um, so I don't really understand why but this is the iPhone XR now the only issue I had um, when it comes to learning how to use this was because it has no like um, home button or anything like that I was like how do I close things how do I activate it but it's like face act face activation yeah basically scans your face and that unlocks your phone which is pretty good the only downside to it is it doesn't pick up like masks and stuff but I got it in this red but I say I got it I actually got bought this because um, I have a new job and it was like a congratulations thing like they knew that I wanted a phone really bad and I was going to save up and stuff but then they surprised me with this and I was just like ah like so so excited so yeah this is the phone which I'm really in love with and actually I can kind of show you guys so it's this and then on the back we actually got some well I got a clear case and a um, screen protector as well because my last phone got scratched and I have no idea how it happened but it massively bothered me so yeah we got a screen protector um, a clear impact case and then on the back it's just this really nice blue glitter but when you change it like that it turns to purple now this we actually um, rhinoed it on so it's like a colour rhino and then you heat it up and like it sticks down it's so clever but so incredibly hard to do and get smooth um we're kind of thinking about doing this in like a car but i mean i have no idea how that would turn out but i really really love the case 
and it's like my two favourite colours and it's also like I don't know how well you'll be able to see this but like glittery too so I am fully in love with that next I'm actually going to go on to some makeup pieces now I have shown this once or twice before however this is the Rouge Velvet um, collection now this is like in this really nice pink colour I actually have it on my lips today this is a lip stain so you put this on you do have to be really careful when you're applying it though because if it goes anywhere on your face it kind of stains your face for the day so you kind of have to pray a little bit when it's when you're applying it um but i put that on and then i really fancied having a bit of a glossy look but i really wanted this color so i just applied this on top which is just essence which is a wilkerson's brand i believe and it's just shine 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 but it's super nice super comfortable and doesn't feel tacky or whatsoever so i really really like that especially with how the weather's been at the minute i feel like it's much nicer to have like glossier lips and it is a matte just because of how drying it can be at times so yeah that was the first two now we have one more which is this it's just a day to night edit um brain's gone to sleep on me <laughs> day to night edit eyeshadow palette that took some thinking like i'm half asleep clearly and if I open it up, these are the colours inside. Now I really, really like these. I've actually been using this every day. I normally go for like a light colour and then like today I've got like a little bit of a wing on. But when it comes to wearing makeup, to work and stuff, I just tend to wear like the copper colour with a little bit of um, mascara. Just like it isn't too much because obviously I'm working. Um, so yeah, I don't wear eyeliner, which is a bit of a shame. But I wore it for the first time today in ages and you can really tell that I've not been wearing it because the concentration that it took was next level, so yeah. Now the next thing I have to show you guys is actually a canvas. Now it's a bit hard for me to show you in shot, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to import a picture and show you that one. Basically, I bought this canvas with a design on it. The design was black and white, but I actually seen it in the shop when what are we for? literally went shop for like some really sharp scissors and stuff because um, we were like recarpeting a like boombox system for a car, and I seen this design and I was like, you know what, I am in love with this design. I kind of need it, but we were going food shopping after, so it would have been a pain in the butt to carry. So basically we ended up going back like two days after and I was like, you know what, if they have it, I'm 100% getting it. I really want to be creative and I kind of just feel like colouring. So yeah, I got that, I just coloured it in and I feel like the colours really work well together. But anyway, I'll let you guys be the judge of that. plan is to put it up in like the kitchen or something, just that it like adds a little something something to the wall. Um, but yeah, I would definitely recommend them. The only thing is it takes a lot more time than you kind of think that it would But I was fine with that like it gave me time basically to get off my phone and just you know relax and do something and then see Like the outcome after you did it, which is really nice because I've been spending so much time on my phone lately like It's kind of bad, but TikTok is a little bit addictive a little bit So yeah I'll stop babbling on about that now. I'm not sure how many of you guys will actually remember, but I like doing virtual running challenges. So with virtual runner, you can either run, walk, cycle, or do any form of physical activity that you can track. So personally, I am in cycling. I like going out on my mountain bike and just seeing how many miles I can get. Um, personally, I choose to do mostly anyway um, medals with no minimum mileage, so you can do as little well as much as you like. Now, I prefer these because it doesn't stress me out to feel like I have to hit a certain target, but also it lets me, you know, I'll give myself like I'll be like, right, I'm gonna get ten miles for this medal and then anything after that 10 miles is a bonus and then if I get up to like 15 miles it kind of gives me that 
that drive to really like go to the next like round number is really weird but I quite like it and how driven it makes me just kind of really makes me enjoy it and the fact that you get a medal after and also each medal that you do they're like between £13 and £20 to um, like buy um, it's like a ticket price but if you don't complete it you don't get the medal so you have to make sure that you're tracking what you're doing and uploading it onto their website um, but a small percentage of each ticket price that you put in for goes towards like a selected charity so for example this is the one that I got recently and it is the Run Wild Challenge now I had to get this not only because it's a beautiful medal and even the lanyard is super cool oops show you the right way um i really really love it but i love animals and as soon as i saw this i was like you know what this is beautiful um and this goes towards animal charity i can't remember off the top of my head which animal char charity it is but any animal charity i normally support anyway just because like i love animals for passion like i grew up watching steve Irwin and stuff like that and he just massively inspired me so I just knew I had to get this. Now this was the last one that I got. This is the actual, this is the actual what? Let's start again. This is the third medal that I have. I have this one, I have a Pokemon medal and then I have a RAF medal which the RAF medal was the first medal that I actually got because I love anything to do with the military. I have so much respect for that kind of thing so I just knew that I had to get it. And there are some more medals like they have ones new each month so I'm gonna see which one I will fancy doing next I feel like doing a bit of a challenge so yeah super looking forward to that once I decide anyway now we're on to the last thing which is actually a pair of sunglasses now I needed a pair of sunglasses because basically I broke mine now mine had like a plastic frame going all the way around and for some reason on my way out I was holding it and I must have squeezed a little bit too tightly and it cracked the plastic like here so it would have pinched my face if I wore it basically which would have hurt some <laughs> so yeah I was on the lookout for some new glasses and I was like I'm not entirely sure what kind of style I want so I was scrolling through the misguided website which is where I saw these and I just fell in love now the glass itself is like a clear purple and then goes up to like a dark purple and it's a cat eye shape here which is just in a black plastic and then it has silver in the middle and then just black plastic um, arms and as soon as I saw them I was like they are stunning like I need them in my life and it was only I think it was £9 and they come with a little like silky feeling um, sleeve to put them in as well so I can put them on my bag and I don't have to worry about them getting scratched but I thought it was really really nice and I've worn them so much lately with how beautiful the weather's been. So yeah, I hope that you guys enjoyed the video. That is the end of it. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please do give it a massive thumbs up. Subscribe down below if you haven't already. It'd be awesome to have you on board. And I hope that the weather's been as beautiful where you guys are as well. And if it, if it is, I hope that you're enjoying it as much as you possibly can. So yeah, this is all for me for today and hopefully see you in my next video. Bye guys!